Hey guys, so the next patch for WoW released 10.1.7. Um, and there's a couple cutscenes that we'll watch. This one, this is what, it, uh, who's this? Uh, yeah, them, Lace TV. Uh, these are the two ones I care about. I don't really care about them because I haven't done the Heritage Armor and I just want to see it myself because uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but these two with uh, Farak and Varanoth. Um, so we got Farak argues Varanoth cutscene and Varanoth comes to Valdraken. So I haven't seen these. We'll watch them together. Um, uh, so this is a uh, Farak argues Varanoth cutscene. Burning night of our new allies. What have you done to this creature? Imbued it with the living flame. The very flame we will infuse into the heart of their precious world tree. Eridicron entrusted us to deny the Aspects their prize, not twist it into some vile abomination. Eridicron isn't here anymore. Besides, he is the one who set me free, who begged me to drink deep of the Shadow Flame. He knew what was necessary to win this war. We took up arms together to free the world from the Titans meddling. That is the war I fight. That is the victory I seek. We cannot achieve victory with our hands bound by your ideals! Indeed. Then our cause is set. Okay, so the Farak and Eridicron. Farak enjoys causing chaos and carnage. He delights in causing pain, and he doesn't care who gets in the way, and he will burn them with shadow flame. Eridicron is more of the end goal. You know, he'll be like, oh. I'll let you uh, survive, and then when I summon the Void here, and you know have the Harbinger of the Void come, and we shepherd in this Age of the Void, and when your Titans come to save this planet, you'll see the folly of, of the Titans. You'll see they care nothing about you. You'll see they care nothing about the, cre uh, the, the, the beings on this planet. All they care about is control. And I will keep you alive long enough so you can see how much your precious titans actually care for you. And that's that's a Riddicron. He's more focused on the end game. Varanoth, you know, she's she's the more easily persuaded one. Unfortunately, I, you know, it's Blizzard, and they're like, oh, you know. Don't want, you know representation and and all that but they're making the female the the even though that she's cold as ice making her the compassionate one um to where apparently uh i will speak with your dragon queen uh where she's going to talk to alex straza will we have an alliance with with Varanoth? who knows it would be really cool if we did um Already, these three uh, are way better than the previous uh, expansion. We have an idea of what they... Not an idea, but we know what they want. We know their goals. We know their personalities. Um, I also think it's just odd that she looks like the Winter Queen. I mean, everyone said the same thing. It's like, why does she look like the Winter Queen? Um, but... The fact is, she's she doesn't want to take life if she doesn't need to. You know, she's 
they just want revenge against the Titans. They don't, she doesn't want to, you know, like we saw with uh, Farak. She's like, it's to do this, not to turn them into abominations. Um, but, you know, we've seen the first cutscene with her and uh, Alex Straza. Like, oh yeah, you let this happen to to the our clutch and this and that, and you know we see Alex Strazek trying to talk her way out of it. Even if she did feel remorse, it was coming off as like she was like pretty much claiming to be the victim. Um, but I'm guessing she's gonna kind of look. Uh, Varanoth is gonna look past what happened in the past, um, and kind of form an alliance with. Not only Alex Straza, but the other uh, flights as well. I mean, having an incarnate as an ally against a Riddicron and um, the Void, unless she's going to sacrifice herself, which would be stupid, having an incarnate. But I would love to see more of her in the future, so I hope they don't kill her off. But here's. Baranoth comes to Valdraken. You'll speak with your dragon queen. Then speak. No doubt you are aware of what my brother is after. Every gateway to the Emerald Dream has been secured and is well defended. It is not a gate he seeks. With the Druids of the Flame at his side, Farak will tear his way into that realm and march his forces upon the World Tree. His forces? They will fail. This World Tree will not be burned. Burn it. He comes to claim it. To twist its pure heart into a mirror of what his own has become. Cruel, blazing with insatiable malice, and wreathed in shadow. I cannot stand with him. He is my brother no more. Fear enough. Do what you will with this knowledge. Farewell, Alexstrasza. Stand with us. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because you are a protector of this world. And you do not want to see it burn. <laughs> Please, hear me now. I failed you before. I failed our people. Yes, you did. I will not fail them again. Stand with us, Viranoth, for all dragonkind. All right, so Viranoth is, after a very, very brief talking to, she's like, okay. Um, but you can kind of see where she's coming from. Uh, you know, like I said, all the incarnates that we've seen have their own agenda. You know, Farak likes to inflict pain and suffering, you know, like immediately. Uh, Riddicron is for that end game. He wants us to have the Titans come. He wants us there when the Titans come because he wants to show us how much the Titans truly how little they truly care for us because they don't care about us. They care about ordering things, uh, ordering the universe and keeping things the way they can control it. Um, while yes, they did help us in the fight with Argus. It was because it was a threat. It was a threat against their control. Um, but they apparently care very little for us. You know, Algalon, uh, when you fight him in Old War, you know, he kind of tells you how they are, you know, in his own, like, what he's seen. Um, 
you know, and he was pretty much created to not feel sympathy or empathy or anything for these these worlds that are just taken out by the Titans because they they didn't fit in their the Titans design. Um you know, just despite them being obviously sentient beings and with high vast knowledge, because they're so powerful and basically gods, they don't care about mortals. Um, so Eridicron wants us there. So when the Void comes, and the Titans have no choice but to come back, they he wants to show us, hey, these are your Titans. These are the ones you guys look up to. Let me show you how much they actually care. Um, but we've got Viranoth on our side. Um, I think Ajara is going to make her return, but because the, uh, the threat of the planet is there, we're going to be teaming up with her. Um, Zalatath is kind of like a wild card, honestly, because she does kind of like us, you know? We gave her all this power, so she does have some kind of fondness for us. Um, but it's, you know, right now she's on Eridicron's side because she's supposed to be like this harbinger of the void. But it is very possible that she might see him on the basically on the cusp of losing. And she might be like, well, I'll just kind of in the background and just kind of take the side of whoever, win, uh, you know, whoever's winning. Um, so she's kind of a wild card at this point. We don't know what her intentions are. Yes, yeah, she might be fragment of an old god, but again, she does kind of like us, uh, in some way. You know, we are the ones who kind of set her free. So she kind of owes us. So, uh, but Veranoff, it's like, like I said in the last one, it's like every time we see her she she doubts more and more about what she's doing it's like it, I, yeah i want to get back to the titans but are we going about it the right way and that's why when she saw farak it's like no we have an agenda against the titans we're not here to corrupt and 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 make their the creatures abominations we're just here to try to get them to come here so we can take care of them which I seriously doubt they'd be able to, um, especially with Sargeras back. Um, but just the whole idea that the Titans are not what they seem, we've seen it all throughout Dragonflight in the ramblings of uh, Neltharion, um, a, a little bit from Odin, uh, in the you know papers and stuff like that from him, um, while yes, like I said, we've met the Titans. It was out of self-interest. Argus had to be stopped. It was again, it was going against the order of the universe, and that's what they're about: order. And they don't care what has to be destroyed, what has to be burned, what has to be annihilated. Order must be maintained. There must always be a Lich King. No, um, but the fact that Viranoth is on our side and Alex Straza, despite the fact that she first time she came across as kind of like trying to save her own scales, uh, she, if what she's saying is true, I mean, this happened so long ago, but if what she's saying is true, then yeah, she has, uh, you know, she acknowledges she's messed up and she wants a chance to fix it. So she's extending this hand to, to Varanoth saying, hey, you know, join us. You know, you can see that Varanoth's distressed about basically losing her brothers. You know, they're too far gone at this point. And so uh, Alex Strauss is like, stand with us then. You know, you may think you're alone, but you're not. You have us. And whatever happened in the past, I'm willing to, you know, I want to make up for it. Um... I mean, obviously, it's not something that Varanoth will ever get over, you know, because it was kind of messed up. Uh, but I think she'll appreciate Alex Straza making the attempt. And they're dragons. They have, like, a lifetime for, you know, to make up for it. So, there's that. So, but having 
an, an incarnate like Baranoff on our side definitely is going to help if she can survive long enough for when the void gets here which it will uh the fact that they're talking about the emerald dream i can't wait to see what that looks like again if you haven't seen the emerald dream uh from like alpha and beta like vanilla go look it up the whole thing is huge it's pretty empty because they didn't really work on it a whole lot there are some places that are kind of fleshed out but it's pretty empty for the most part but you kind of get an idea of what they wanted to do um actually hang on all right so this is kind of like what they had uh for the emerald dream now this is haven games unfortunately he's no longer with us um he died a couple years ago but he was actually he was one of the reasons why i started making videos back when i did with you know exploration and stuff was because of him um but you can see this is kind of what they had in mind. Just a large green, um, kind of green area. X there for uh, size comparison. You've seen these before, but this is kind of what they had in mind for the Emerald Dream. Got the dream catchers. Um, these large floating trees, but this is what they had, and I hope it's something like this: large, expansive. Keep the assets like from here. You know, obviously, just update them a little bit. But I want this Emerald Dream, not a small portion, like we had in the, at the end of the Emerald Nightmare, not a small portion that we had in the Druid Order Hall. I want this Emerald Dream. I want this Emerald Dream with a large tree or a sapling or whatever it is right now in the dead middle of it. But this is the Emerald Dream I want. The Emerald Dream that they promised us ages ago. Ages ago. Um, This is the Emerald Dream I want. This is what I would love to see so it's called the verdant fields and contains large open areas with flowers as big as trees that's what i want except obviously a lot more stuff but imagine seeing these things around because i don't think these are anywhere else in the game apart from the emerald dream I think there might be like smaller versions of them in some places, like over in um the Barrens now, uh the Southern Barrens where they're you know part of the Emerald Dream is kind of like emerging over there. So you might see like small versions of this, but huge like that. No, you, you, they're they're nowhere else. Um, but that's what I want to see. So hopefully, hopefully. But, um, Varanoth, she's hopefully an ally, and she's not going to double-cross us at any point. You know, because it is World of Warcraft, not World of Nicecraft. So, I mean, we can be double-crossed at any time. But the way she's been progressing through the story, I, I don't think she will. I think she's kind of sick of her brother's and how extreme they've gotten um and she just she just wants it to stop so even if she has to give up that whole plan of trying to get the titans here it seems like she's just tired of it so good on her taking a stand but we'll see what happens when the void finally gets here uh but i think we're going to the emerald dream first which should be exciting. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about that story so far, that whole kind of like the progression of Varanoth. Uh, what do you think will happen when the Titans finally do arrive? Um, you know, with the Void, are you looking forward to the Emerald Dream like I am? Um, let me know below. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later.
Bye, guys.